my name is Hawk and I am playing Fallout so I really hope you enjoy it I'm totally new to YouTube so and I decided to play some Fallout 4 I have completed it before but I just wanted to show you guys special guides and locations of rare weapons and stuff that will really help you but to the, today's aim is to show you about five beneficial places that will benefit you a lot in the at the start of the game so I've literally just came out of the vault level one the only guns I got is two mm pistol things which are absolutely rubbish so after you come out of the vault the first place most people just run down here because you got a mission to go home which is around about there but if you turn around there's some boxes full of stuff so Radex and Radaway is the best thing to grab. Uh, cocktails, best thing, Radaway as well. And Radex once again. And then there's this little hut thing there. Which you got a fan. And some cram. Crams are food that you can eat and gives you stuff. But the silver locket, that's worth some cash and some ammo. So that's all good. And a bottle cap, which is the equivalent to uh, Fallout 4 money. And then, uh, so from the vault, also here's a good place. One, you get a stim pack. Stim pack is kind of like a healing thing in Fallout, just in case you do not have Fallout and you're thinking of getting it. And a folder and a wrench. You can take all of them stuff. And yeah. So just jump down here for the next place. That was place one. So next place is the sanctuary. Sanctuary is basically like the first place after the vault that you find. So after coming to the sanctuary, turn left and you will get a mission to talk to him. But for now, I'm just not gonna talk to him. I'm gonna go in here and there is a comic called Grognak the, ba uh, the, the Barbarian sorry my voice went then and yes. this gives you a perk and this is a, a melee, melee attack permanently does 5 cent damage on top of your damage thing so that's all good and then you can take all of them stuff as well bread box all of that you can scrap it for stuff but the real place you want to check out is in here because at the start of Fallout you're here with Sean which is your child and people steal the child and you got to try and get him back and that is the whole aim of this uh, thing and so there's his crib you just want to bend down and get this it's a your special comic so just take it and then you pick a perk at the start of the game when you open the door to this guy uh, you choose all your strengths your perception endurance charisma intelligence agility and luck and this thing basically gives you an extra perk so if you want to level up fast I choose intelligence because it ups it by 3% I think or endurance is running fast strength is carrying stuff so I want to level up fast so I'm going to choose the intelligence so sanctuary holds a lot of secrets so this is the best place and most beneficial place and the next place is actually in the sanctuary and that's the house that we just went in you're going to want to go behind the mall go through this gate and there's actually actually a cellar I missed this at first and it's a shame because right at the start it's really hard to find decent stuff but here it's full of it so I definitely recommend going here even if you're a high level there's still stuff so this is a place in the cellar this is like a pre-war like hideaway kind of thing there's loads of stuff there's cram purif purified water I said that in like a Rus Russian accent uh, aluminium can always pick up aluminium it's very valuable and you will need it for your power armor later on so more 
purified water and if you want to become rich this is the best place to go because there are gold bars so just take that oh, sorry one thing uh, some reason it is saying it is uh, marked as junk but it is 450 bottle caps and that is a lot and there is three of them in here just down here so and some ammo so this is definitely a good place because you get over like one thousand one thousand something uh, caps just from the start and there's pre-war money which you can also sell and that's and that's pretty much that for the sanctuary so keep watching there's a few other places that I'd like to show you okay so it's time for the fourth place which is literally right beside the place I've just been which is the Concord Tower which is the red rocket truck shop which is where you find dog meat your first companion so let's just go and greet him there's dog meat there you go the good thing about dog meat dog meat does not judge about anything some companions if you steal something they like judge and either hate you or love you or something like that okay then and dog meat does none of them he just sticks as your pile through all of it and this place is actually a awesome place for finding loot and stuff like that so first thing pre-war money you can sell that cigarette cartons highly valuable so grab any of them that you get there's more stuff around here like tin cans and stuff like that the first time I've actually completed this game as I said and I actually missed this but if you go into the terminal which is inside the red rocket truck shop I think it's business entries there was a safe storage which I did not know about that so th that was one of the biggest mistake so it says something about a cave so around here so let's just go check that out so the safe is actually just that's a red rocket chuck shot go around the back and do a 360 boom it's like in a cave just look at the name first mole rat den so there's going to be mole rats if you do not know what mole rats are they are a horrible mutated rat kind of thing well mole slash rat which are really fast and really annoying so just get rid of them first and then you can loot this thing there's a safe in it and a fusion core fusion cores are very rare so it's worth coming down here and fusion cores are used as your power armor I hate <laughs> I was pressing the wrong button I was trying to bash them like that and you can loot them for stuff just be careful if you do shoot at that red thing it will explode and hurt you so just be careful I just saw like a something to loot then yeah anyways nuka cola uh, cherry awesome they give you health this is what I just saw uh, 308 ammo which is a pipe pistol ammo cocktail and a pipe pistol and there's another one of those red things let's get them and from the entrance if you turn right there's a fusion core right there so just grab that and then if you turn left to the entrance go around here there's a rabid mole rat which is quite hard to kill but there you go they'll pop up in a minute they're like really horrible animals to fight where is he? where is the doggy? yes well done dog mate so yeah anyways there's a safe here a 
I think I can unlock it. Do not judge my lock picking. I am absolutely rubbish at it. See? Lucky enough, I got eight of them. No. No. Come on. Don't. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, anyway, so you can unlock that safe. I'm not going to waste all my stuff. But there is some good loot in there. There's some caps and a few uh, weapon things. Yes, finally. Anyway, <laughs> don't take uh, frag. Yeah, the mine thing. I cannot say that. And it's worth a lot. It's worth 50 and it does 101 damage. So perfect for for protecting you vegetable starch I'll take it it's just extra stuff so that was the fourth place there's one more place I'd like to show you which you get one of the most powerful weapons in the game so really hope you enjoy okay so the third place is just that tower over there literally just came in through over there got the perk thing and the cellar was over there somewhere so just make your way over this bridge and run all the way over to there you can grab a few things on the way like this there's a dead raider the stimpax pipe pistol and drifter outfit oh so there's meat and a tire iron tire iron that could be used as a weapon but um probably gonna stick with my pistol so just run up here and there's a massive concord tower thing you can see it from Sanctuary and probably from the vault which is over there and there's quite a lot of stuff here one the stim packs and blood packs blood pack is also like a stim pack kind of thing but somewhere around here there is actually a trunk buried there we go so straight over there and 17 bottle caps 308 round which is used for most uh, weapons so keep doing that okay so this is the fifth and final location that I'm going to be showing today that will really benefit you and it is the robotics disposal ground which is like a dump basically of old cars and stuff but don't judge it it is full of awesome stuff so the first thing you can do is just go into this door check out the terminal but there's this a hot rodder uh, issue thing permanently unlock a custom paint job for your power armor so when you get power armor which is the mission where you gotta go to another city to the museum and help this guy you get a power armor to try and defeat an enemy not gonna spoil it for you but if you know you know what I'm talking about and there's uh, ooh, did not try and shoot dog meat sorry dog meat but the thing that is most cool about this is that one there's a fusion core which is for your power armor and is this thing that thing you can actually get as your companion but that's going to be in my next tutorial make sure to watch that if it's not uploaded yet I'm still working on loads of videos to upload but the main thing I want to show you is the weapon behind it this weapon is amazing so let's just try and get to it after you parkour all the way around there this is a fat man a fat man is one of the best guns slash weapons in the game so let me just show you the damage on it so fat man 468 damage and that is just incredible my my pistols do 18 and that yeah so that is just totally amazing plus you may have noticed there's no ammo for it but right at the entrance there is a mini nuke for you to pick up 
Will it let me get it? Well, it won't let me get it currently, so... Oh well. But it's there for you. On my other account, I managed to get that, so... Probably just a glitch in my game. But thanks you very much for watching. I really hope this benefited you. If it did, don't forget to drop a like or a comment or anything. It would be greatly appreciated. And just respect what I'm doing. I'm trying to help you guys. If it helped in any way, just comment. If you need any help on anything, like a legendary weapon or, or anything, if I've got it, I'll show you how to get it. Or if not, I'll do some research and do a personal tutorial for you plus if you need a shout out I am welcome to do any kind of shout outs for you just ask and I will do it and I'll try and do a shout out nearly every episode but this episode has got to go to one of my best friends check out his YouTube channel it's called Head Johan there'll be a link in the description make sure you check that out it is Welsh but he's trying his best to become good and his videos are really, really good so hope you enjoyed thanks once again and goodbye <laughs>